What's going on everyone? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Welcome back to episode 67. Thank you as always for all the support so far. I really appreciate it. If you aren't subscribing, you're enjoying the content, make sure you subscribe, like, leave a comment, hit that notification bell as well. That way you'll be notified when my next video is going to be out. And in today's episode, we're playing against Barrow. It is in the Papa John's Trophy. It's the last game in the group stages. I thought we were mathematically safe last game, but we weren't, so I'll explain that in a minute. But before we get to the league tables in the team, let's go and see what happened in the last episode. So in the last match it was against Bolton in the FA Cup first round, we did go through, we won 1-0. We did dominate the game, we had 60% possession, we had 11 shots with 6 on target. And we also had a 90% pass completion. We did get a goal through OT in the 75th minute, it was a good result and we also kept the clean sheet. And having a quick look at league table, we're still top. We've played 16, won 15 of them, drawn 1, and we have 46 points and 32 goal difference. We're currently 11 points above Rochdale in the league so far. We do have a game in hand as well, so if we can win that, it'll be 14. But if we look at the Papa John's Trophy, we are top of the group. We are in Group G. We've played 2 and won 2. As I was saying, I thought we were mathematically safe. Barrow did win their last game though, so they do have a possibility. The positive thing is we do have a good goal difference though. Barrow has 0 and Newcastle has minus 3. So Barrow and Newcastle would have to win by considerable amounts. Barrow would have to win by at least 4, and Newcastle would have to win by at least 10. 10, but I am pretty hopeful that we can get through, but I do want to try and top the group and get maximum points. So let's go in and show you the team for today. So this is the team we're using today. We've got Hammond in goal, McLaughlin's at right back, Narty and Kelleher at centre back, and Garmson's left back. We have Collins and Barjonis in centre mid, Watford's on the right wing, Cans on left wing, and Robson's attacking mid central, and we've got OT up front. We do have a lot of players that are unfit just now just because we played a couple of days ago, so hopefully we can win it with this second string side, but we still have a lot of good players, main team players as well, so we should still get a performance out of the team. But I want to get maximum points, so let's get into it. And this is lineups, so let's get in the dressing room, and let's do it for the fans. We'll skip this and get into it, encourage the guys and get going. But I am hoping we can top the group here and get maximum points. We probably will progress anyway. I don't see Barra scoring four against us and Newcastle scoring 10 goals in their game against Wigan. So hopefully we should progress. I do want to get top of the group though. Ote's on the ball here. Picks up. Watmer now. Edge of the box. Collins to Robson. It's cleared though. Kelleher picks it up. Into Barjonis. Robson now to Collins. Great ball over to Watmore. Can he finish it? And he can. 1-0. Fantastic start. 30 minutes in. Sixth goal of the season for Watmore. Great team goal there. Happy to get the lead as well. Let's have a look at it again. Kelleher gets it to Barjonis. Robson gives it over to Collins. Great ball over. Takes a touch and just slots it past the keeper. Very good goal there. So hopefully that should be it done now. But you never know in football. We just need to keep... The same level of performance the whole game. But we did find out who we are getting in the FA Cup second round. We are going to be playing against Cheltenham. They are in our league, but hopefully we can progress to the third round. Ote's on the ball now, making a break. Can't get there. Good tackle from Lacey. Plays it forward to Quigley. Quigley plays it over. Gribben moves in. And it's been cleared. Bennett now. Played back in again. It's cleared again. Or Jonas to Collins. Collins. Robson. Watmer's on the break now. Good tackle there from Wilson. Moxie on the ball, plays it up to Gribben. And it comes to nothing. We've got 20 minutes left until the second half. But yeah, as I was saying, hopefully we should progress through in the next round of the FA Cup. I'd Hopefully we can get a Premier League side in the third round. If not, it would be good to maybe get a lower league side so we can get through to the fourth round because obviously the prize money would be beneficial right now. Watmore again, can he finish it? And he can, it's a second goal of the game for Watmore, seventh of the season. Fantastic strike, fantastic team goal there. Very, very happy about that. Let's have a look again. Robson plays it into Ote. Great ball through to Watmore. And he just slots it in again. Ten minutes left at time, In a good lead as well. Good position so far. Barry's on the ball now though to Bennett. Barry again. Is cleared by McLaughlin. Watmore's going to go on the break. Can we counter here? Great run forward from Watmore. Plays it into the middle. Barjonis. Back to Watmore. Can he get a hat-trick? Oh, and it's just hit the post. Unbelievable. We could have had the first half hat-trick from Watmore there, but very unlucky. But that is half-time. It is 2-0. Fantastic result so far. We've had 8 shots, 6 on target with 62% possession. Both goals were from Watmore. He did have a chance to get his hat-trick, but he just hit the post, so hopefully he can get it in the second half. Let's get in the dressing room. And very happy with the performance. Let's keep it up. 
But we are playing against Barrow again in the league just after this game. I wanted to do this game, though, because it's a cup game and it is pretty important. It does look like Wigan's winning against Newcastle as well, or they were, so we should still progress here. I don't see us losing from 2-0 down anyway. Robson's moving forward now. Plays it to Ote. Into the box. Tries to play it back, but can't get there. Little moves forward with the ball to Gribben. Good run here. Can't get the ball in though. Great tracking back from Watmore. Plays it forward to Ote. Plays it over to Can. Into Barjonis. Robson now. Very good ball. Ote here. Can he finish it? Fantastic strike. One incredible finish. Chip over the keeper there. Great play from Robson again. He's been involved. He is one of the young players that we brought in in the summer. Very good player. He hasn't had many opportunities just because of the quality of players that we do have. But I do want to try and give him some opportunities when possible. Great ball over there. And look at that finish. Stunning goal. And Ote is another one. I need to make sure I give him a lot of game time as well because he can score goals for me. Especially when we need to give Balogun a break. We won't do that just now. We've got about 25 minutes left to go. We will make some substitutions though because I do want to rest some players for the next Barrow game. Because obviously the league is a priority as well. We will bring on... We'll bring on Davies on the left. Um, No, let's not. Let's put Ote on the left. And we'll put Ponticelli on for a little bit. Let's bring Collins off and we'll put Horsfield on as well. Give Ponticelli a little bit of an opportunity because he's not had much game time this season. But we've got about... 15 minutes left to go. Hopefully we maintain the clean sheet here. We'll bring off Narty as well for a gungbo. And that should be us progressing through to the next round. Top in the group as well. As Wigan beat in Newcastle 4-2. So it goes in our favour. And that's the end of the game with 1-3-0. Fantastic result. Kept a clean sheet as well. We had 15 shots, 11 on target with 62% possession. We got two goals from Watmore and then a goal from Ote. Let's get in the dressing room. And very pleased with the performance. So that's us being Bauer 3-0. Fantastic result. It also means that we've progressed through to the second round of the Papa John's Trophy. And as you can see from the table, we've qualified top of the group. Won all three games. Had a go nine goal difference with nine points. So we will find out soon who we've got in the second round. So I think for the next episode, we're going to come back for the Bradford game. They are third in the league, so it is going to be a tough game. But I'm hoping to maintain top of the league. So that'll be a very good game to come back for. And then we'll play after that episode will be the Cheltenham game in the FA Cup second round. But as always, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. If you haven't yet already, make sure you subscribe. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe and I'll catch you next time.